Chapco brand presents an educational moisture mitigation video. Moisture Mitigation – How to Prevent Problems In this video, you will learn the following. Why moisture mitigation is important and how to prevent moisture from affecting the installation. You will also learn the source of moisture, effects of moisture on already installed hard and soft flooring, when to use a moisture mitigation system, and how to install the moisture mitigation system. Moisture. In the flooring industry, few words cause so much anguish. Excessive moisture vapor emission rate, also known as MVER, is the culprit for many failures both in soft and hard surface floor installations. One way moisture gets into flooring is through vapor transmission. Vapor transmission is caused by moisture in the slab that evaporates toward the atmosphere. This can be from moisture that was there when the slab was first poured. Typically, this moisture soaks into the slab in the form of rain or groundwater. The moisture moves through the slab and breaks down the adhesives, which warps and buckles the flooring. When to use moisture mitigation. In selecting the right solution, there are several factors to consider, such as the relative humidity of the slab, the condition of the concrete surface, and specific job requirements and timelines. Challenging jobs that need to quickly be made ready for flooring should consider Chapco's Defender. Chapco's Defender provides commercial contractors confidence that their installations will be protected from moisture through the use of the moisture vapor barrier. Chapco's Defender mitigates excessive moisture vapor emission rate. It's a two-part epoxy formulated to be applied to damp or new concrete as little as 48 hours after concrete placement with a moisture vapor emission rate a maximum relative humidity of 100% or less than or equal to 25 pounds. There is no need for shot blasting for clean, sound concrete, including burnished concrete. Chapco's Defender only requires one coat and will permeate to fill voids and gaps. Because it cures within four to five hours, you can install the floor on the same day. How to install. First step is to know your substrate. Test your substrate for moisture. Follow the ASTM F2170 test. Be sure to follow the instructions of the relative humidity equipment and the ASTM test method. Refer to manufacturer's guidelines for the recommended humidity levels for installing their flooring. Ensure your surface is strong enough for a proper bond. Test the surface with a knife. If it produces a fine powder, mechanically prepare the surface by grinding or shot blasting. If the surface does not produce any powder, your floor is contaminant free and you may proceed. Ensure your substrate is clean and contaminant free. If contaminated, clean the surface until it's free of debris. To mix the product, Pour Chapco's Defender Moisture Vapor Barrier Part B curing agent into the 2-gallon pail of Chapco's Defender Part A and mix thoroughly for 3 minutes using a low speed of 300 RPM or less. Now that you've mixed the product, you need to prep for joint crack pretreatment. First, let's understand the different types of joint and cracks. What is a static versus a dynamic joint? Static joints are non-moving joints. Dynamic joints are moving joints. There is a difference between the proper application of flooring over static or non-moving joints versus dynamic or moving joints, as well as variations based upon the type of flooring being installed. Please follow appropriate industry standards as well as the flooring manufacturer's recommendation for treatment of joints. For static cracks and control joints less than 1 mm with no movement, remove any dirt, debris, or existing sealant from cracks and joints. Treat all static joints with Chapco's Defender by applying material into the joint with a paintbrush to completely coat the walls of the cavity. For static cracks and control joints greater than 1 mm with no movement, remove any dirt, debris, or existing sealant from cracks and joints. Treat all static joints with Chapco's Defender by applying material into the joint with a paintbrush to completely coat the walls of the cavity. 
of tree joints greater than one millimeter, you'll need Chapco's Defender, silica sand, and a small bucket. Blend at a one-to-one -one ratio, Chapco's Defender, and the silica sand into the small bucket and mix. Larger cracks may require a different ratio. Please follow manufacturer's product data sheet for the proper ratio. Immediately pour the blend into coated control joints and cracks, making it level with the concrete surface. For expansion joints and dynamic cracks with movement, remove any dirt, debris, or existing sealant from cracks and joints. Treat all dynamic joints with Chapco's Defender by applying material into the joint with a paintbrush to completely coat the walls of the cavity. Once cured, fill the joint with sand or backer rod while leaving the top of joint open for proper treatment with sealant. There are two options to apply Chapco's Defender. Option one is to squeegee and option two is to trowel. Immediately after mixing, pour the blended gallon container of Chapco's Defender onto the floor at a thickness no greater than one quarter inch. Spread with a squeegee or 1 16th inch square notch trowel allowing the Chapco's Defender to saturate the surface. Do not move too fast. After spreading, wait five minutes before back rolling to minimize surface bubbles. Do not overwork. Higher temperatures will shorten the work time. After waiting five minutes, begin to back roll surface with a 3 16th inch nap foam roller to evenly distribute the product. First, saturate the roller and then work at a smooth, even pace. Periodically evaluate the surface to ensure a smooth, continuous film. Chapco's Defender covers between 100 and 180 square feet per blended unit. Chapco's Defender Moisture Vapor Barrier performs equally well on porous or dense concrete. On porous concrete, it penetrates into the surface. On dense concrete, it forms a continuous topical film. While the porosity of the substrate affects the application appearance, it does not affect the performance. Chapco's Defender cures to a walkable surface or tacky film with no transfer to the touch in approximately four to five hours. Unused Chapco's Defender should be poured onto scrap cardboard or plywood to dissipate the heat from the curing reaction. Once cured, containers may be disposed of in normal job site trash. Most floor coverings and adhesives require the application of a Chapco cementitious underlayment over the Chapco's Defender. In this video, you've learned the following. Why moisture mitigation is important and how to prevent moisture from affecting the installation. You also learned the source of moisture, the effects of moisture on already installed hard and soft flooring, when to use a moisture mitigation system, and how to install the moisture mitigation system. For more information regarding Chapco's products, please visit our website.